the world is facing a plastic waste crisis, with an estimated 8 million tons of plastic ending up in the oceans each year. Recycling has long been touted as the solution, but the reality is that only a fraction of plastics are actually recycled. This is due to a number of challenges, including contamination of different types of plastics, lack of infrastructure and collection systems for recycling, and limited markets for recycled plastics. However, there are also many opportunities for progress towards a circular economy, in which waste is minimized and materials are reused and repurposed. Advances in technology, such as chemical recycling and biodegradable plastics, show promise in overcoming some of the challenges facing plastic recycling. Additionally, Governments and companies are increasingly setting ambitious targets and implementing policies to improve recycling rates and reduce plastic waste. In this video, we will explore the current state of plastic recycling, the challenges and opportunities facing the industry, and the actions being taken to create a more sustainable future for plastic. Plastic recycling is an essential aspect of creating a sustainable and circular economy. Every year, more than 320 million tons of plastic waste is generated globally, 8 million of which enters the ocean, causing harm to marine life. However, only 9 of plastic waste is recycled, resulting in approximately 12 billion tons of plastic waste that will be in landfills or the natural environment by 2050. This poses a significant challenge for governments, industries, and society to find innovative solutions for plastic recycling. Despite the challenges, there are ample opportunities to create a circular economy with plastic recycling. For instance, advancements in technology can result in the creation of more specialized recycling facilities, which can effectively recycle plastic waste. The world is facing a grave environmental challenge. Plastic waste and air pollution have become one of the most critical global issues of our time. Plastic production and disposal have adversely impacted the air quality and global climate, with scientists warning about the dangers of plastic for years. There's more plastic than organic matter on some beaches, plastics in the oceans, and microplastics in the air we breathe. Developing countries are the most impacted, with limited resources to deal with plastic waste. The increased use of plastics in the daily lives of people is also detrimental. The rampant human consumption of disposable plastics has increased to an unsustainable level, causing a severe threat to our ecosystems and health. The connection between plastic waste and air pollution is alarming. As we discard plastic products, they release harmful chemicals into the air, which mix with other pollutants and pose a severe risk to the health of humans and animals. The situation requires all of us to act in every way possible. The first step is to understand the connection between plastic waste and air pollution so we can take effective action to combat both. Plastic waste and air pollution are two of the most pressing environmental issues of our time, and they are more closely related than many people realize. According to the World Health Organization, air pollution is responsible for 7 million premature deaths every year worldwide, and plastic waste is a major contributor to this problem. In fact, Plastic waste is a major source of air pollution both directly and indirectly. The direct impacts of plastic waste on air quality are twofold. Firstly, when plastics are burned in the open air, either as a means of disposal or as a result of accidental fires at landfills, they release toxic fumes that are harmful to human health. In fact, burning plastic waste can release a range of harmful chemicals including dioxins, furans, and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Pause which can cause cancer, respiratory problems, and other serious health issues. The World Health Organization estimates that open burning of plastics and other waste is responsible for over a quarter of the particulate matter pollution in the atmosphere, a form of air pollution that is linked to heart disease, lung cancer, and other health problems. Secondly, plastic waste in the environment can contribute to air pollution indirectly by breaking down into tiny particles called microplastics. These particles are so small that they can be easily inhaled, 
and research that suggests that they can have serious impacts on human health. In fact, a recent study found that people who live in areas with high levels of microplastic pollution are more likely to suffer from respiratory problems such as asthma and bronchitis. Microplastics can also enter the food chain, where they may accumulate in the bodies of fish and other marine animals, ultimately making their way onto our dinner plates. When it comes to understanding the connection between plastic waste and air pollution, it is also important to consider the broader environmental impacts of plastic production and consumption. For example, the production of plastic is highly energy intensive, and the extraction of the fossil fuels used to make plastic contributes significantly to greenhouse gas emissions and climate change. According to the Ellen MacArthur Foundation, if current production and consumption trends continue, there could be more plastic in the oceans than fish by weight by 2050. In conclusion, plastic waste and air pollution are closely interconnected in ways that are both direct and indirect. From the toxic fumes released when plastics are burned, to the impacts of microplastics on human health and the environment, it is clear that we need to take urgent action to address these pressing environmental issues. By reducing our reliance on single-use plastics, increasing recycling rates, and investing in cleaner forms of energy and waste management, we can help to protect our health and the health of the planet. In conclusion, it is clear that plastic waste and air pollution are interconnected. Plastic waste not only clogs our oceans and landfills but also releases toxic chemicals into our air when it is burned or degraded. The problem of plastic waste requires a holistic approach that considers the environmental impact throughout the entire life cycle of plastic, from production to disposal. Governments, industries, and individuals must act urgently to reduce plastic waste and limit the amount of pollutants released into our air. Every day, millions of tons of plastic waste are generated around the world, and much of it ends up in our oceans and other natural habitats. This is leading to a crisis in biodiversity loss, with wildlife populations declining at an alarming rate. But despite the scale of this problem, many people still don't fully understand the impact that plastic waste is having on our planet. Our video will take a deep dive into this global crisis exploring the connections between plastic waste and biodiversity loss. We'll explore the ways in which plastic waste harms the animals and plants that make up our delicate ecosystems, from microscopic organisms to iconic species like whales and sea turtles. We'll also examine the impact that plastic waste has on human populations, particularly those in coastal communities that are affected by polluted water and lost livelihoods. And we'll explore the innovative solutions that are being developed to tackle plastic waste, both at the individual and systemic level. Our goal is to provide a comprehensive understanding of the plastic waste crisis, empowering viewers to take action in their own communities and beyond. Together, we can create a more sustainable future for ourselves and all the species that share our planet. Our planet is currently facing a global crisis due to plastic waste and biodiversity loss. In fact, statistics show that a staggering 8 million tons of plastic waste end up in our oceans every year, harming countless marine species and ecosystems. Dash National Geographic. Additionally, approximately 1 million species are at risk of extinction primarily due to habitat destruction, pollution, and climate change. Dash ibs. The loss of these species not only disrupts ecosystems but also threatens the survival of humanity itself, as we depend on the Earth's biodiversity for clean air, water, and food. Furthermore, plastic pollution is not only damaging to marine life but also to human health, with microplastics having been found in our drinking water and even salt. Dash World Wildlife Fund. It's time for us to take action and make changes to our daily habits and lifestyles to reduce our plastic consumption and protect biodiversity for future generations. In conclusion, the issue of plastic waste and biodiversity loss is a global crisis that requires immediate attention and action. 
While plastic has undoubtedly improved many aspects of modern life, its impact on the environment cannot be ignored. The loss of biodiversity is a threat not only to the health of the planet, but also to the well-being of humans. It is important that we all take responsibility for our actions and do our part to reduce the amount of plastic we use and dispose of properly. This will require changes in individual choices, corporate practices, and government policies. However, it is not too late to act. With awareness and action, we can begin to reverse the damage that has been done and work towards a more sustainable future. By doing so, we can protect the As the world becomes increasingly aware of the devastating impacts of climate change, it has become impossible to ignore the role that plastic waste plays in exacerbating this global crisis. From polluting our oceans to releasing harmful greenhouse gases when incinerated, plastic waste is a significant contributor to climate change. However, the interconnections between plastic waste and climate change are not always easy to identify. In this video, we explore these connections shining a light on the ways in which plastic waste contributes to climate change and the impact this has on our world. Through stunning visuals and expert interviews, we delve into the science behind plastic waste and how it is changing our planet. We also examine the ways in which communities and individuals are taking action to combat plastic waste and mitigate its impact on the environment. From beach cleanups and recycling initiatives to policy changes and innovations in plastic alternatives, this video offers a comprehensive look at the complex issues surrounding plastic waste and climate change. Join us on this journey to learn how we can all make a difference in protecting our planet for future generations. Plastic waste and climate change are two major environmental issues that are intricately intertwined, and the interconnections between them cannot be ignored. The rampant use of plastic in our daily lives has caused a tremendous amount of plastic pollution especially in our oceans, where it is estimated that by 2050, there will be more plastic than fish. The devastating consequences of plastic waste are not only limited to the marine environment, but it has also negatively impacted human health, wildlife, and ecosystems. According to research, more than 8 million tons of plastic waste is dumped into the ocean every year, and 90 of seabirds have ingested plastic. The scale of these statistics is alarming and action needs to be taken on a global scale to combat this pressing issue. The production of plastic also has a significant impact on the climate crisis. The petrochemical industry, which is responsible for creating synthetic materials like plastic, is a significant contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. The manufacturing process of plastic, both in terms of extraction and production, releases a significant amount of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. According to the Plastic Pollution Coalition, if the global petrochemical industry continues to grow at its current pace, it could account for 20 of the world's total oil consumption and 15 of global carbon emissions by 2050. Furthermore, plastic waste impacts the ability of the environment to mitigate the effects of climate change. Plastic pollution clogs up our waterways destroys ecosystems, and disrupts the food chain. The accumulation of plastic waste in the ocean has created major dead zones, where marine life cannot survive. The disappearance of important marine life and ecosystems has a direct impact on the ability of the ocean to absorb and mitigate the effects of carbon dioxide emissions. The loss of these natural carbon stores can further fuel the effects of climate change and exacerbate its consequences. It is clear that the issue of plastic waste and climate change is a complex and interconnected one, and action is required to tackle it effectively. We need to address the root causes of plastic waste by reducing dependence on single-use plastics and promoting a circular economy. We must also invest in renewable energy and sustainable manufacturing practices to reduce carbon emissions. Together, we can work towards a cleaner, healthier, and more sustainable future for our planet. In conclusion, it is evident that there is a dire need for immediate action to address the issue of plastic waste and its impact on climate change. Governments, businesses, and individuals must work together to reduce their reliance on single-use plastics and adopt sustainable alternatives. Moreover, recycling and proper disposal of plastic waste should be a priority to prevent it from ending up in oceans and landfills, emitting greenhouse gas emissions, 
and harming marine life. The COVID-19 pandemic has exacerbated the problem, with an increase in plastic waste caused by the use of masks, gloves, and other disposable PPE. Our planet is facing a crisis caused by an overwhelming amount of environmental pollution, much of which comes from single-use plastics. These plastics, designed to be used once and then discarded, contribute to a growing concern for our environment and health. The implications of single-use plastics are devastating, not only for our planet but also for our own well-being. In this video, we examine the environmental and health effects of single-use plastics. We take a deep dive into the staggering amounts of plastic waste produced annually and how it impacts our oceans, wildlife, and ecosystems. You'll see how plastic waste is destroying habitats, threatening endangered species and how it leads to the formation of plastic landfill islands in the ocean that are the size of entire countries. We also explore the health implications of single-use plastics how harmful chemicals in plastic products are disrupting hormonal regulation, causing cancer and developmental issues in humans and other wildlife. But, we don't just highlight the negative effects. We'll show you the innovative ways that communities, businesses, and individuals are taking action to reduce, reuse and recycle plastic to create a sustainable future for all. Whether you're a business owner, a policymaker, or a concerned citizen, this video will provide you with the knowledge and motivation to make a change. Together, let's start examining our use of single-use plastics for the betterment of our planet and health. Single-use plastics have become ubiquitous in modern society, with people utilizing these materials in everyday life without much consideration for the environmental impact. Reports show that over 8 3 billion tons of plastic has been produced since the 1950s, with only 9 being recycled. The statistics indicate that approximately 700 marine species are affected by plastic debris, a figure that is only expected to rise. It's worth noting that 50 of plastic waste is from disposable items, and a lot of it ends up in oceans. Furthermore, a study conducted by the University of Sussex found microplastics in one-third of the fish caught in the UK. This poses a significant threat to marine life as microplastics can lead to reproductive difficulties, starvation, and even death. Moreover, the environmental implications of single-use plastics extend beyond the oceans. They also have a considerable impact on land and air quality. For instance, a single plastic grocery bag can take up to 1,000 years to decompose in a landfill, and when it eventually does so, it releases toxic particles that end up in soil and water sources. Additionally, incineration of plastic waste results in the release of hazardous chemicals, including dioxin, creating air pollution that poses a risk to human health. The health implications of single-use plastics cannot be overstated. The World Health Organization warns that plastic packaging, which can be responsible for the majority of plastic pollution, exposes humans to chemicals that may have significant health effects. For example, bisphenol A, BPA, which is used in the production of plastic items, such as water bottles, has been linked to hormonal problems and developmental issues. Polystyrene foam, commonly known as styrofoam, contains a chemical called styrene which can cause damage to the nervous system and is classified as a probable human carcinogen. In conclusion, single-use plastics have been a convenient and cheap alternative to traditional materials, but it has come at a great cost to the environment and human health. The statistics are a testament to how single-use plastic pollution has become an alarming concern. With over 8 3 billion tons of plastic produced and just 9 being recycled, marine life remains under persistent threat, and plastic waste remains as a sign of a grave ecological crisis. Furthermore, the plastic waste found on land and air quality can significantly compromise human health. Therefore, 
Avoiding single-use plastic wherever possible and adopting sustainable practices can help address this growing issue. In conclusion, the use of single-use plastics has significant environmental and health implications. Our oceans are accumulating more plastic waste each day, harming marine life and, ultimately, our own health. Plastic chemicals can leach out from the packaging and contaminate the food and beverages we consume. Furthermore, microplastics are found in our drinking water, seafood, and even the air we breathe. It's time to take action and reduce our consumption of single-use plastics. Individuals can start by bringing reusable bags, water bottles, and straws with them when they go out. Governments can implement policies and regulations to reduce the use of plastics and encourage sustainable alternatives. Furthermore, corporations need to take responsibility and invest in sustainable packaging. It's an issue that affects us all, and we must work together to find The world is facing an environmental crisis due to the spread of microplastics. These tiny particles are posing a significant threat to aquatic life and ecosystem. They absorb toxins in the environment and are subsequently consumed by small organisms and fish, which are part of the food chain of larger animals and humans. The result is the accumulation of toxins in the tissue of animals and fish, which is a significant public health concern. Scientists have discovered that microplastics are found not just in oceans and rivers but also in soil and the air, leading to new concerns about the health impacts of microplastics. This video will explore the crucial role of microplastics in the spread of environmental contaminants. From the scientific research to the real-world examples, we will delve into the dangers posed by microplastics and the steps needed to mitigate the crisis. Through interviews with leading environmentalists and researchers, we will uncover the latest findings and explore solutions to this critical issue. We'll also address the need for a coordinated, global response from governments industries, and individuals. This video will provide a comprehensive view of the problem of microplastics and its impact on the ecosystem, wildlife, and human health. Our objective is to raise awareness about the crisis and inspire action, to ensure a safer, healthier, and cleaner planet for all. Microplastics have become an increasingly significant problem in the spread of environmental contaminants. These small, Solid plastic particles, often less than 5 mm in size, are found in oceans, lakes, rivers, and soils all over the world. According to the United Nations, there are now over 51 trillion microplastic particles in the oceans alone. That's equivalent to about 500 times the number of stars in our galaxy. But what makes these tiny pieces of plastic so dangerous? One of the main reasons is that they can absorb and carry harmful chemicals. In fact, studies have shown that microplastics can contain up to 1 million times more toxic chemicals than the surrounding water. These chemicals include pesticides, flame retardants, and industrial chemicals, which can then be ingested by marine life and subsequently, by humans who consume seafood. It's estimated that someone who eats a lot of seafood can ingest up to 11,000 microplastic particles per year. But it's not just about seafood consumption. Microplastics are also present in products such as bottled water, salt, and even air, which means we are exposed to them daily. Studies have linked microplastics to a range of illnesses in humans, from hormonal disorders to cancer. In addition, because microplastics can transport these toxic chemicals over long distances, they can contaminate even remote and pristine environments. For example, a recent study found microplastics in the snow in remote areas of the Arctic. This highlights the importance of addressing the issue of microplastics not just for the health of the oceans and marine life, but for our own health and the health of the planet as a whole. In conclusion, Microplastics play a significant role in the spread of environmental contaminants. They are small and easily transportable, allowing them to travel long distances and potentially contaminating a vast area of habitats. Unfortunately, the problem of microplastics is not only limited to the environment but also has health implications for humans and animals. 
Researchers have found that microplastics can transfer chemicals and toxins into our food chain and subsequently lead to severe health problems. Therefore, it is crucial to take measures to reduce the amount of plastic waste we produce and properly dispose of it. It is also essential to monitor the production and use of plastic materials and incorporate sustainable and environmentally friendly approaches to waste disposal and management. In doing so, we can mitigate the harmful effects of microplastics and preserve our environment and health. With continued research and commitment to inv The world is facing a major environmental crisis caused by the introduction of tiny plastic particles into our soil. Microplastics in soil are a major concern for agriculture and food security. As plastic waste is increasingly used in everyday products, the potential for microplastics to accumulate in soil and water is rapidly increasing. The presence of these particles in soil can negatively impact soil structure, water intake, and nutrient cycling which can have devastating effects on agricultural crops and food security. This video will explore the impact of microplastics on soil health and how it affects food crops. With interviews from top soil scientists, agronomists, and food security experts, we will unravel the complex web of issues surrounding microplastics and agriculture. In addition, we will examine the current research on the impact of microplastics on human health and the environment. Our experts will provide viable solutions and recommendations for policymakers to ensure that microplastics are properly managed and mitigated in agricultural processes. Let's join hands to raise awareness about this crisis and promote sustainable agriculture practices as we work towards a safer and healthier food supply for future generations. Microplastics are small plastic particles measuring less than 5 mm in size. They are commonly found in household products personal care products, and plastic packaging. Shockingly, recent studies have shown that microplastics are also present in soil, the very foundation that supports our food security and agriculture. In fact, it is estimated that billions of microplastic particles may be lurking in every hectare of agricultural soil. This is a problem that cannot be ignored, as it directly affects our health and well-being. Not only do microplastics pose a serious threat to the environment, but it has also been discovered that they can negatively impact crop growth and yield. These tiny particles can change soil structure, block nutrient uptake, and reduce water availability, leading to crop failure and lower agricultural productivity. Furthermore, microplastics have been known to carry harmful chemicals that can accumulate in the food we eat. Disturbingly, the presence of microplastics in soil is not limited to urban areas. A study conducted in the Swiss Alps found that even in remote mountain soils, microplastics were present at levels comparable to those found in urban soils. The impact of microplastics on soil microbial activity, carbon storage and carbon cycling is still unclear but scientists are concerned about the long-term impact of this issue on the environment as well as on society. Without intervention, the situation could quickly spiral out of control, leading to further food insecurity reduction in biodiversity, and soil degradation. In order to safeguard our food security and the health of our environment, immediate action must be taken to tackle this issue. Policymakers can work towards regulating the use of products that contain microplastics and encouraging companies to reduce their usage. Educating consumers on responsible usage and waste management can also go a long way in reducing the accumulation of microplastics in soil, along with more research. In conclusion, it is important that we recognize the detrimental impact of microplastics on soils and the agriculture sector to take effective measures in alleviating the problem. The food we put on our plates is at stake, and it is crucial that we work together to ensure the safety and sustainability of our soil and agriculture industry. The time for action is now, before the situation spirals out of control. In conclusion, the evidence is clear that microplastics in soil have significant impacts on agriculture and food security. They can affect soil structure, reduce crop yield and nutrient content, and even contaminate the food chain. However, it's not all doom and gloom. 
by taking steps to reduce our plastic consumption and properly disposing of plastic waste, we can help prevent further contamination of our soil and protect our food security. Additionally, more research needs to be done to fully understand the extent of the problem and develop effective solutions. Governments, industry, and individuals all have a role to play in addressing this urgent issue. By working together, we can ensure the sustainability and resilience of our food systems for generations. The amount of plastic pollution littering our oceans is no secret. However, an alarming new discovery has been made microplastics in the atmosphere. These tiny particles, measuring less than 5 mm in size, are now visible in our skies, and their transport and health implications are staggering. The problem is driven not only by the huge quantity of plastic lying around but also by the very nature of materials used in everyday products. Clothing, car tires, synthetic turf and building materials all shed microplastics as they are used and age. With an estimated 8, 3 billion tons of virgin plastic produced historically, it's only going to get worse. But what is the impact on our health? The microparticles have been found in everything from snow to bottled water, and evidence suggests that they can even infiltrate our lungs. One study found that microplastics were present in 83 of the world's tap water samples. With implications for global air quality, climate change, and respiratory health, we need a better understanding of the sources, transport, and fate of these particles. This video will explore the latest research on microplastics in the atmosphere, their effects on human health, and what can be done to tackle this emerging crisis. Microplastics in the atmosphere have become a major concern for environmentalists due to their overwhelming abundance and potential health implications. According to recent statistics, an estimated 8 million metric tons of plastic enter the ocean every year and up to four of that plastic is thought to end up in the atmosphere. This means that we are breathing in microplastics every day without even realizing it. Moreover, microplastics in the air can travel long distances via wind currents and end up in our lungs, which can cause various respiratory problems. Studies have also shown that microplastics can disrupt the endocrine, immune, and nervous systems. Microplastics in the atmosphere are not only a health hazard for humans, but they can also affect wildlife. Statistics show that approximately 90 of seabirds have ingested plastic, and it is estimated that by 2050, there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish. Additionally, microplastics have been found in the Arctic and Antarctic regions, which can have alarming ecological implications. The long-term effects of microplastics on marine and terrestrial ecosystems are not yet fully understood, but they are likely to be significant. Overall, the presence of microplastics in the atmosphere is a growing concern that demands urgent attention. As individuals, we can reduce our plastic consumption, properly dispose of plastic waste, and support companies that prioritize sustainable practices. On a larger scale, governments and industries can take steps to reduce plastic production and develop innovative solutions for plastic waste management. The time to act is now before the issue of microplastics in the atmosphere becomes irreversible. In conclusion, microplastics have become a pervasive pollution problem, not just on land and water, but also in the atmosphere. As demonstrated in this video, microplastics are being transported over long distances, and scientists have discovered them in remote regions such as the Arctic. While research on the health impacts of microplastics in the atmosphere is still ongoing, Evidence suggests that exposure to these particles may have adverse effects on human health, including respiratory problems and even cancer. It is imperative that we take immediate action to address the issue of microplastics pollution in all its forms, including the atmospheric pathway. This may involve a combination of reducing the use of single-use plastic, improving waste management practices, and implementing regulations to limit the release of microplastics into the environment. By taking action, Plastic contamination is on the rise, with a growing number of studies showing that plastics are entering our food and beverages at alarming rates. This contamination is not only affecting the quality and safety of our food and drinks, but it's also causing widespread concern among consumers. Our documentary aims to assess the risks associated with plastic contamination in food and beverages exploring the root causes of this problem and shedding light on the potential health hazards. We take a deep dive into the production, packaging and consumption of food and drinks, 
highlighting how plastic can enter the food chain at each stage. We interview leading experts from the food and beverage industry, as well as researchers and scientists, to gain insight into the impact of plastic contamination on human health. We also look at the regulations and policies aimed at reducing plastic waste, and whether they are effective in mitigating the risks associated with plastic contamination. Ultimately, our documentary aims to educate consumers on how they can reduce their exposure to plastics in their food and drinks, while also calling on industry leaders and policymakers to take urgent action to reduce plastic waste and protect the public's health. Join us on this important journey to tackle plastic contamination, and protect our health and environment. Plastic contamination in our food and beverages is one of the most pressing issues in our modern world. According to recent studies, an astonishing 90% of bottled water contains microplastics, meaning that we could be ingesting up to 5 grams of microplastics per week just from drinking water alone. This is alarming, to say the least and underscores the need for immediate action to mitigate the risks of plastic contamination. What's particularly concerning is that the effects of consuming plastic are unknown in the long term. Microplastics are small enough to pass through our gut wall and enter our bloodstream, potentially leading to harmful health effects. There is evidence that suggests ingesting microplastics could lead to the release of toxic chemicals into our bodies raising serious health concerns and contributing to the growing prevalence of diseases such as cancer and infertility. Furthermore, the impact of plastic contamination is far-reaching, extending beyond our health and into the environment. Every year, millions of tons of plastic waste is dumped into our oceans, rivers, and landfills, causing irreparable harm to wildlife and ecosystems. In fact, it's estimated that by 2050, the plastic in our oceans will outweigh fish. As consumers, it's essential to understand the risks of plastic contamination and the steps we can take to protect ourselves. First and foremost, we must minimize our use of single-use plastics, such as plastic straws and bags. We can also choose to purchase products packaged with recyclable materials and support brands that prioritize sustainability. By doing so, we not only safeguard our health but also contribute to a healthier planet. In conclusion, the issue of plastic contamination in our food and beverages is a significant challenge facing our society today. The statistics paint a sobering picture of the risks we face, and it's time we take action. As consumers, we have the power to influence change and reduce plastic waste. Let's work together to ensure a healthier future for ourselves and the planet. In conclusion, plastic contamination in food and beverages is a serious issue that requires immediate attention. The risks to consumers are high, with potential health effects ranging from hormonal disruption to cancer. As consumers, we must take action to reduce the amount of plastic waste we generate and advocate for stricter regulations on plastic use in the food and beverage industry. Furthermore, governments and manufacturers must take responsibility for the impact of their plastic waste by investing in innovation and sustainable alternatives. Plastic pollution is one of the most persistent and destructive environmental problems of our time. The proliferation of plastic debris in our oceans, waterways, and landfills is having devastating consequences for our planet and its inhabitants. Endangered species in particular are feeling the effects of plastic pollution, as their habitats become contaminated with this non-biodegradable material. The impact of plastic pollution on marine mammals like sea turtles, seals, dolphins, and whales is especially troubling. Many of these animals confuse plastic bags with jellyfish or other prey, leading to ingestion and suffocation. Plastic waste also contributes to oceanic dead zones, destroying critical ecosystems and reducing biodiversity. In addition to harming wildlife, plastic pollution also poses a threat to human health, as microplastics enter our food chain through contaminated fish and seafood. 
This documentary explores the far-reaching effects of plastic pollution on endangered species and the urgent need for action to protect our planet and its inhabitants. Through interviews with scientists, activists, and conservationists, we uncover the devastating impacts of plastic pollution and explore solutions to this urgent environmental crisis. Plastic pollution is a global crisis that is causing devastating impacts on our planet's wildlife, particularly on endangered species. According to research, there are approximately 8 million tons of plastic waste that enter our oceans every year, a figure that is projected to double by 2030. This is contributing to the decline of marine populations, with recent estimates suggesting that over 700 species of sea animals are at risk of extinction due to plastic pollution. One of the major effects of plastic pollution on endangered species is through entanglement. Marine mammals, sea turtles, and seabirds are often trapped and strangled by plastic debris, resulting in a gruesome death. An alarming statistic reveals that up to 90 of seabirds have ingested that plastic during their lifetime, and this is forecasted to increase to 99 by 2050. This plastic ingestion can lead to serious health consequences, such as gastrointestinal blockages, hormonal disruptions, and a weakened immune system. The accumulation of plastic waste in the environment also poses a toxic threat to endangered species. Plastic particles can absorb harmful chemicals such as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which are linked to cancer and reproductive issues. These toxins can accumulate in larger predators such as sharks and whales, which ultimately poses a risk to human health when these animals are consumed. It is estimated that more than one-third of fish eaten by humans contain microplastics, which can ultimately lead to serious health problems. As plastic pollution continues to devastate our natural ecosystems and wildlife, it's important to recognize the urgency and severity of this issue. By taking actions such as reducing single-use plastic, recycling, and advocating for environmental policies, we can begin to address this crisis and protect endangered species. We must act now to prevent the irreversible impact of plastic pollution on our planet and preserve the natural world for generations to come. In conclusion, the plastic pollution crisis has far-reaching consequences for the ecosystems inhabited by endangered species. The devastating impact of plastic pollution on our environment cannot be overstated. With the huge amount of plastic waste that ends up in our oceans, rivers and lakes, we are slowly killing off marine life and destroying the ecosystems that sustain them. It is time for us to take responsibility for our actions and start taking steps towards reducing plastic waste. The trailer for this video script opens with a breathtaking, aerial shot of vibrant coral reefs yet to be affected by the pervasive problem of plastic pollution. As the camera zooms in, we see how these reefs are buzzing with life, with bright fish darting back and forth amidst the thriving coral colonies. But this idyllic scene is soon interrupted by a stark reality, a close-up of a plastic bag drifting by, polluting the pristine ocean waters. We see how plastics break down in the ocean causing chemical pollution and endangering marine life. The coral reefs are particularly vulnerable to the impact of plastics, as underwater environments, they are directly exposed to these pollutants. We zoom in on a forlorn-looking coral colony that has begun to bleach and die off due to pollution and environmental stresses. Interspersed with these visuals are a series of quotes and statistics from environmental experts, explaining the critical importance of protecting our coral reefs from plastic pollution. The coral reefs are the lungs of our oceans, says one marine biologist. If we don't act now, we risk losing these vital ecosystems forever. The video ends with a sobering message urging viewers to take action and support campaigns to reduce plastic pollution and protect our coral reefs. Plastic pollution has become a critical concern for the decline of coral reefs. The harmful impact of plastic waste on the world's oceans can no longer be ignored. For instance, Statistics show that over 8 million metric tons of plastic end up in the ocean every year, causing immense damage to marine life and ecosystems. Additionally, more than 700 marine species are currently in danger of extinction due to plastic pollution. When it comes to coral reefs, plastic waste poses a significant threat to their survival as plastic debris entangles and suffocates coral, leading to their death. Shockingly, it's estimated that by 2050, 
There will be more plastic in the ocean than fish by weight. Unless we take significant action, the future of our planet and its marine life remain at risk. It's imperative that we address the issue of plastic pollution, both through prevention and mitigation, to save our coral reefs and preserve our ocean's health. In conclusion, plastic pollution is a serious threat to our oceans, and one that is having a devastating effect on coral reefs around the world. From microplastics to discarded fishing nets, plastic waste is smothering and killing coral, destroying habitats, and disrupting ecosystems. Unless we take immediate action to reduce our reliance on plastic and properly dispose of plastic waste, we risk losing one of the most diverse and important ecosystems on the planet. Governments, businesses, and individuals all have a role to play in reducing plastic pollution and protecting coral reefs. We need to push for stricter regulations on plastic production and disposal, support companies that prioritize sustainability, and make personal changes such as using reusable bags and bottles. By working together and taking responsibility for our plastic consumption, we can help to ensure that future generations The world's oceans are in a crisis. Plastic waste is taking over our aquatic ecosystems, slowly but surely destroying the fragile balance of life that exists beneath the waves. From bags to bottles, straws to packing materials, plastic pollution is suffocating our planet and leaving a devastating impact on marine life. It's not just the large pieces of debris that are the problem either. Microplastics are small particles that are found in everything from cosmetics to clothing and when they enter the ocean, they're ingested by fish and other sea creatures. The effects of plastic pollution are far-reaching, from the destruction of coral reefs to the choking of seabirds. But it's not all doom and gloom. We can all take small steps to help combat this issue. From reducing our use of single-use plastic items, recycling properly and participating in beach cleanups, we can make a difference in preserving our oceans. In this video, we will explore the dangers of plastic waste in our aquatic ecosystems, diving deep into the scale of the problem and offering solutions to reduce our impact on the planet. Let's work together to protect our oceans for generations to come. Plastic waste has become an alarming environmental problem, posing a severe threat to the ecological balance of aquatic ecosystems. According to statistics, around 8 million tons of plastic end up in the oceans each year, equivalent to a truckload of plastic being dumped into the ocean every minute. This plastic waste can have profound impacts on marine life, killing around 1 million seabirds and 100,000 marine animals annually including whales, dolphins, sea turtles, and fish. Plastic bags, in particular, pose a significant risk to marine life as they are commonly mistaken for food by marine animals, leading to ingestion and entanglement that can cause serious injury or death. Furthermore, plastic particles break down into smaller fragments, which are consumed by small aquatic species, eventually entering the food chain and potentially ending up on our plates. The extent of the ecological imbalance caused by plastic waste in aquatic ecosystems is far-reaching and severe and it's time for us to take action to address this critical issue. In conclusion, it is clear that plastic waste is a significant threat to our aquatic ecosystems. The accumulation of plastic and microplastics is causing irreparable harm to marine life and disrupting the delicate balance of our oceans and rivers. The plastic waste problem is a global issue that requires immediate action from governments, individuals, and corporations alike. To tackle this problem, we need to reduce our dependence on single-use plastics, promote sustainable production, and increase the recycling of plastic waste. It is also crucial that we work to raise awareness about the impact of plastic waste on the environment and encourage people to make eco-friendly choices. Small actions such as choosing reusable shopping bags, water bottles, and straws can make a big difference in reducing plastic waste.
plastic waste is undoubtedly one of the most significant environmental problems we face today. With our ever-increasing use of plastic products and inadequate waste management systems, plastic waste has become a grave threat to terrestrial ecosystems. From vast landfills to littered streets, plastics are clogging our planet and causing significant harm to our natural world. The issue is far from isolated, with plastic waste spreading rapidly across the globe and causing lasting damage to ecosystems everywhere. Plastic pollution can harm wildlife disrupt fragile ecosystems, and even enter our water and food supplies, posing serious risks to our health. It's a problem that affects everyone and everything. But there is hope. As more people become aware of the issue, governments, corporations, and individuals are taking action to address plastic waste and protect our planet. By reducing our reliance on plastic products and implementing effective waste management strategies, we can begin to mitigate the damage caused by plastic pollution. Through this video, we will explore the causes and effects of plastic waste in terrestrial ecosystems and identify the steps we can take as individuals and communities to make a difference. By understanding the severity of the problem and working towards solutions, we can help preserve our planet and safeguard it for future generations. Plastic waste is a growing concern for terrestrial ecosystems, as it has become a major contributor to pollution and environmental degradation. In fact, According to recent statistics, approximately 8 million metric tons of plastic waste enter the world's oceans every year, leading to devastating consequences for marine life. But the impact of plastic waste is not limited to just the oceans. In fact, it poses a significant threat to terrestrial ecosystems as well. Over 91 of plastic waste ends up in landfills, where it can take up to 500 years to decompose releasing harmful chemicals into the soil and water. Furthermore, plastic waste is often mistaken for food by wildlife, leading to fatal consequences. For example, it is estimated that over 1 million birds and 100,000 mammals die each year due to plastic waste consumption. Plastic waste also impacts the health of humans, as it can contaminate food sources and water supplies. In fact, research has found that microplastics, which are small particles of plastic, have been detected in drinking water, seafood, and even beer. As such, it is crucial that we take action to reduce plastic waste and promote sustainable practices. From using biodegradable materials to promoting recycling and reducing single-use plastics, we can all play a part in protecting our terrestrial ecosystems from the threat of plastic waste. Let us work together to create a healthier and more sustainable future for ourselves and for the planet. In conclusion, the issue of plastic waste and its threat to terrestrial ecosystems is a pressing one that requires immediate and sustained action. It is no longer enough to simply recycle plastic or reduce our plastic consumption. We need to create a culture of responsible waste management that is supported by policies, laws, and regulations that promote sustainable practices. We also need to educate ourselves and others on the impact of plastic waste on our environment and the role we can play in reducing it. The trailer for this video script highlights the urgent need for action to address the issue of plastic waste and its impact on wildlife conservation. Through powerful images and poignant commentary, the trailer drives home the important message that we must take action now, before it is too late. The images in the trailer depict the heartbreaking reality of the impact of plastic waste on wildlife. From birds whose stomachs are filled with plastic to sea turtles struggling to swim in a sea of garbage, it is clear that this is a problem that requires immediate attention. The commentary in the trailer emphasizes the urgency of the situation. We cannot afford to ignore the devastating impact that plastic waste is having on our planet. Whether it is through better waste management practices or reducing our use of single-use plastics, we must take action to protect wildlife and the environment. Ultimately, 
This trailer serves as a call to action for viewers. It reminds us that we all have a role to play in protecting our planet and the wildlife that calls it home. Together, we can make a difference and ensure that future generations can enjoy a clean, healthy, and vibrant planet. Plastic waste and wildlife conservation have been pressing issues for quite some time now. With the ever-increasing amounts of plastic waste material being dumped into our oceans and landfills every year, the future of our wildlife is in jeopardy. According to the World Wildlife Fund, an estimated 8 million metric tons of plastic waste enters the ocean annually, equivalent to one garbage truck full of plastic being dumped into the ocean every minute. These startling statistics prove that we must take action now to address this urgent issue before it's too late. Sadly, plastic waste poses a grave threat to our wildlife. Marine animals such as sea turtles, whales, and seabirds are mistaking plastic for food, ingesting the toxic waste that is harmful to their health. In fact, nearly 700 species, including endangered ones, are known to have been affected by such pollution, according to a recent report by National Geographic. This effect is not limited to marine life only. Animals on land, too, are experiencing the consequences of plastic waste. For example, wildlife such as deer, bears, and raccoons are getting tangled in plastic bags, plastic six-pack rings and becoming trapped in other plastic items. These statistics are alarming, and action is needed to preserve our wildlife. As a society, we need to take responsibility and address the issue for the sake of future generations. Reducing unnecessary plastic use by switching to biodegradable materials and enforcing stricter waste management policies are some of the solutions that are gaining traction. It's important to understand that the plastic waste problem is not something that can be solved overnight, but rather it requires collective efforts on a global scale. The cooperation of governments, businesses, and individuals is crucial in addressing this urgent issue. As individuals, we can all take simple steps to help conserve wildlife, such as reducing plastic use, properly disposing of waste, and supporting organizations working towards wildlife conservation. In conclusion, the impact of plastic waste on wildlife is severe and cannot be ignored. We must take immediate action and work towards a future where our wildlife is protected from the harmful effects of plastic waste materials. Only collectively can we find a sustainable solution to this pressing problem. The time for action towards wildlife conservation and plastic waste reduction is now. In conclusion, we can no longer afford to ignore the devastating impact of plastic waste on our wildlife and planet. It's time to take urgent action to address this pressing issue. We must promote sustainable living practices, reduce our reliance on single-use plastics, and properly dispose of plastic waste through recycling. We need to hold companies and governments accountable for their plastic waste and push for stricter regulations and policies to curb plastic pollution. Additionally, we can support organizations and initiatives that are working towards wildlife conservation and protecting our oceans. We owe it to future generations to do better and to take responsibility for the damage we have caused. Let us take this as a call to action and work together to make meaningful changes towards a more sustainable and The use of plastics in our daily lives has grown exponentially in the past few decades. From food packaging to medical equipment, plastics have made our lives easier and more convenient, but at what cost? Plastic additives and chemicals are used to enhance the performance and durability of plastics, but recent studies have raised concerns about their impact on human health. This video will explore the health effects of plastic additives and chemicals on humans. We will delve into the various types of plastic additives and their potential health risks, including endocrine disruption, developmental and reproductive toxicity, and carcinogenicity. We will also examine the various chemicals used in plastics production and their potential impact on human health, such as phthalates, bisphenol A, BPA, and flame retardants. Through expert interviews and scientific evidence, this video aims to raise awareness about the potential dangers of plastic additives and chemicals. We will also explore the steps that individuals, governments, and industries can take to reduce exposure to these harmful substances. This is an important issue that affects the health of millions of people worldwide, and it is time to take action to protect ourselves and our future generations. Plastic is everywhere, from our food packaging to our clothing, it has become an integral part of our daily lives. Yet. With this convenience comes a cost to our health. The chemicals and additives in plastic have been linked to a wide range of health issues, ranging from obesity and diabetes to cancer and hormonal disruptions. Did you know that nearly every human on the planet now has measurable levels of plastic additives in their bodies? Dash According to a 2019 study, 
93 of urine samples from people in nine different countries tested positive for bisphenols, common chemicals found in plastic products, ingested through food and drink, breathed in through dust and pollution, and even absorbed through the skin. Plastic chemicals are all around us, and they're not going away anytime soon. With an estimated 8 million metric tons of plastic being dumped into the ocean every year, the problem is only getting worse. So what are the health effects of plastic additives and chemicals on humans? DASH studies have linked bisphenols and phthalates to an increased risk of obesity, insulin resistance, and type 2 diabetes. In fact, DASH a 2017 study found that every tenfold increase in urinary bisphenol A concentrations was associated with a 54 increase in the odds of developing type 2 diabetes. Other studies have pointed to the carcinogenic effects of plastic chemicals, with phthalates being linked to breast cancer and bisphenol A to prostate cancer. Research has also shown that plastic chemicals can disrupt the endocrine system, interfering with hormonal balance and contributing to reproductive problems and developmental disorders. But the health effects of plastic chemicals go beyond physical health, they can also impact our mental well-being. Studies have linked phthalate exposure to depression and anxiety in adults, and behavioral problems in children. It's time for us to start taking the health effects of plastic additives and chemicals seriously. By reducing our use of plastic, choosing safer alternatives, and supporting policies to decrease plastic pollution, we can protect ourselves and our planet. Because our health and the health of our environment are inextricably linked, and we can't have one without the other. In conclusion, it is clear that the health effects of plastic additives and chemicals on humans are widespread and potentially devastating. From endocrine disruption to cancer and birth defects, the risks associated with exposure to these compounds are serious and cannot be ignored. While many governments and industry leaders have taken steps to reduce the use of harmful additives and improve product safety, there is still much work to be done to protect the health and well-being of individuals and communities worldwide. It is important for consumers to take action as well, by choosing products made from safer materials and advocating for stronger regulations to protect human health. By working together, we can help minimize the negative impacts of Plastic pollution is one of the largest environmental issues that we face today. With more than 8 million tons of plastic being dumped into our oceans each year, the impact of plastic pollution on water quality and drinking water sources is undeniable. This is a crisis that affects us all. Every minute, the equivalent of a garbage truck full of plastic enters our oceans, polluting our water and destroying marine life. Microplastics are also a major concern, as they have been found in numerous drinking water sources around the world. The impact of plastic pollution is not just limited to aquatic life and ecosystems, it also poses health risks to the humans who consume contaminated water. The time to act is now, and we must take action to reduce plastic waste and prevent it from entering our water sources. In this video, we will explore the impact of plastic pollution on our water quality and drinking water sources, as well as the steps that we can take to address this global crisis and protect our planet for generations to come. Plastic pollution is one of the most pressing environmental concerns of our time. Every year, over 8 million tons of plastic waste enter the world's oceans, contaminating marine ecosystems with harmful chemicals and endangering marine life. According to the World Economic Forum, if we continue at the current rate, the ocean could contain more plastic than fish by 2050. The impact of plastic pollution on water quality and drinking water sources cannot be understated. Plastic waste decomposes slowly, breaking down into smaller and smaller particles over time. These microplastics can be ingested by marine animals and make their way into the food chain, ultimately ending up on our plates. Moreover, plastic waste can leach toxic chemicals and pollutants into the water, posing a significant health risk to both humans and animals. In addition to harming marine life, plastic pollution also affects drinking water sources. In a recent study, 83% of tap water samples from around the world were found to contain microplastics. This means that even if you live in an area with a low level of plastic pollution, your drinking water may still be contaminated. And the problem is only getting worse. By 2025, some experts predict that the number of microplastics in the ocean will double. But it's not all doom and gloom. There are things we can do to address plastic pollution and safeguard our water resources. For example, we can reduce our use of single-use plastics like disposable water bottles and straws, and recycle as much plastic waste as possible. Governments and businesses can also take action by implementing policies to reduce plastic usage and improve waste management infrastructure. And we can all support organizations and initiatives working towards solutions to this global crisis. In conclusion, plastic pollution is a serious threat to water quality and drinking water sources, and the problem is only getting worse. But we can make a difference through individual and collective action. 
By working together to reduce plastic pollution and protect our water resources, we can create a healthier, more sustainable future for ourselves and for the planet. In conclusion, it's clear that plastic pollution has a significant impact on water quality and drinking water sources worldwide. The use of single-use plastics and improper disposal of large amounts of plastic waste is affecting aquatic life and contaminating water resources. The ingestion of microplastics by marine organisms, which also harm the food chain, pose a significant threat to human life in the long run. Governments, organizations, and individuals need to take a holistic approach to mitigate plastic pollution. Reducing the production and use of single-use plastics, implementing proper waste management practices, and educating the public about the dangers of plastic pollution are significant steps to reduce plastic pollution. More research and monitoring of plastic pollution in water sources are essential to understand the full extent of the plastic pollution problem and develop effective solutions. We need to act 